Hey guys, Rivethead here. Welcome back to another vlog. It is uh, cold. <laughs> Minus five. It feels colder than it is. Um, we're going to try these woods again. Uh, it has gotten considerably colder and warmer since then, so hopefully the uh, the underlaying area is more conducive to walking than that weird hot mess I had the last time I was here a few weeks ago. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. hope you're uh, taking care of yourselves. As you can see, I'm walking, trying to do the same. I record these when I have the chance. So, <clears throat> I usually will look at the weather and it will say, you know, what I can expect for the week to come. And I kind of judge things based upon that. So, today, I looked at the uh, week in advance and almost shit myself. <laughs> this is the last day that I could possibly record. The weather's supposed to turn poor, but for four or five days it's going to be around minus 20. So, daytime highs are going to be <laughs> negative teens, so going to get up to almost negative 30 sometimes so I'm um I'm gonna hermit when that happens so you may not see an outdoor video for a while depending on how long this lasts so but today we're out in the woods again and the trail is not groomed and it is a thin path and it is hard as hell so that makes me happy this is good for me so uh, I do want to thank everybody for the last video. I had so much fun last weekend taking that walk down by the waterfront. Oh, <clears throat> one of my favorite parts of the area. So, and that's only a small fraction. There's a whole bunch that's more natural looking than in the city. So, I will be taking full advantage of that for sure. And I'll get out of the way here. People coming by. No, go ahead. <laughs> There's two of you, only one to me. What are you recording? Oh, just walking and talking. Nice. <laughs> what I do. Have a good day. <clears throat> so, as I mentioned in the past, people here are absolutely lovely. <sighs> so, yeah, waterfront, love that area plan on taking more and more treks down there. Uh, I did not want to chance it today. We've had a lot more snow since then and uh, the streets are not great. <laughs> Pretty miserable to be honest. So, But yeah, um, that last video I did was all recorded on the uh, Insta360 X3 and I have to say I liked it. <laughs> like the vlog part worked fine. The uh, the recording was fine. I found that it was a little too close for me, but that's because I only had it extended to what I'm normally doing with this. So the field of view is a little bit more tight, but next time I do it, I can do it differently. I wanted to go to the DJI again today, just because, <laughs> lazy, <laughs> it was ready. The NC360 uh, didn't have a whole lot of charge because I didn't, I honestly didn't expect to do this today. I thought, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll do it, but nope, Sunday. Um, now, there is going to be something different about this video because Anybody that's followed me knows how much I enjoy tech. And I've mentioned recently about how I have recently gotten into Apple products. So, uh, I did the swap finally. So, I am on an iPhone SE 2020 version. So, it's not current, not modern, nothing. But, does what I need. So, I'm happy. Able to put the music onto it. Thank you to my, my buddy. Uh, 
you got me that MacBook Pro. I will say this. In the Apple ecosystem, doing things fairly intuitive, fairly easy. But again, you have to be in their ecosystem. Um, so, so what I did is I, you know, put my music onto an external drive, plugged it into the MacBook Pro, and then <clears throat> plugged this phone into it after I had transferred the files over. And it was just easy, like, boop, 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 simple. Made sense, pretty intuitive. Um, I also upgraded the MacBook Pro to the most current version of the OS. Um, don't ask me <laughs> what it's called. Ventura, maybe? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, and the reason I did that is because there were bits and pieces to how the phone operates that it wanted it to be updated, and I didn't want to, you know, spend the money on getting a new MacBook when I already have one. It's just this, the OS. So there's ways to to kind of force it, and you have to accept some of the limitations. And so far, so good. I haven't had any issues with it. So fingers crossed. But. <clears throat> I did try to do a little bit of video editing on it, and it's a 10-year-old MacBook, so I wasn't expecting miracles, but I was doing okay. Um, learning Final Cut Pro, got the trial for it, so I'm trying it out, and I'm like, okay. So here I am, playing within the Apple ecosystem, and... Everybody is raving about the Mac Mini. About how it's good for content creation, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And I bought one. I did. I thought... I want to do more traditional video. So, not just the gaming videos. I want to do a lot more. So, part of this year has been that adventure to... Uh, get more cameras, build up my studio, and uh, start to dive into more things that I want to focus on. So that's what's going to happen. So the Mac Mini has arrived, and this video will be my first video, fully edited and <laughs> rendered on an Apple product, <laughs> which is going to be weird for me. Um, learning curve. Brutal. For me. Um, I've been using... Uh, what was the one called? Vegas. I used that for four or five years. Last year I made the jump to DaVinci. And... Uh, now I have a licensed copy of DaVinci. I'm sure I could put it over onto the Mac. But I wanted to try to use their software that's intended for use with it, right? So, you know, it's part of their ecosystem and things tend to work well within the Mac or the Apple ecosystem. So, figured the trial wouldn't hurt. And, you know, it's not cost prohibitive down the road. Because, again, <clears throat> I'm investing in what I'm doing, right? So this is not just... A, just wasting money because like I mentioned I'm fully planning on doing more with it and fully planning on doing a uh, a change with within my uh, well like a side job type of thing so it is in the works <laughs> hello It's a thin, narrow trail, so I am getting out of the way of folks. The normal trail is very wide, so, but this is okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is going to be different for me. Um, there will be some Insta360 footage added in, of course, uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Fun taking a walk with it. 
after work, so. But I also have tons and tons and tons of footage from before that I've never used, so. I may just incorporate bits and pieces of that into. <clears throat> but we'll see. Or this might just be this kind of vlog for a while. <laughs> <laughs> or this one, so. Um, if I'm not able to get out next week, I might do a studio vlog, so. I might just talk about the tech and how it's working, and, you know, do that kind of a uh, video. No idea. We will see. It depends on my comfort zone, too, you know, getting everything ready. Everything, <laughs> everything within this sphere for me is a, uh, a weird challenge because again I'm the only person doing it I don't have a partner I don't have a roommate nothing <clears throat> completely alone so all the filming I do is just me I am the camera operator <laughs> the video editor I'm the whole shooting match so and it's it's entertaining it's fun because uh we are coming up on my third year anniversary of uh, isolation, <laughs> so which is weird for me. I was a uh, you know fairly sociable person. You know, worked in restaurants, bars, and DJ, and you know, I was out all the time doing things. I haven't been to a restaurant. I haven't been anything, <laughs> nothing, in three years. Well, I do this stuff, right? But, as you can see, I go places where there's not a lot of people. And it's twofold, right? My personal preference for being alone and not being surrounded by people. But also, it's for this. <laughs> like, there's no sound of cars, there's no bunch of background noise it's just me and nature you know that for me is easier to manage <clears throat> that doesn't drive me insane so <sighs> but yeah I have been thinking about you know my life <laughs> and I'm not upset I'm not I'm not lonely you know uh, I'm alone it's a difference but I still have my friends and family I talk to, and so I'm not completely, you know, hunkered down in a room with zero human interaction. Not too sure how I would handle that. Better than I would expect, I would assume, because of, uh, <laughs> you know, the last few years. But it is weird for me to see so many people that have moved on and you know, their their lives are back to normal, <clears throat> within reason. And, uh, I don't have that option. At all. And it's... I think this is going to be the rest of my life, to be honest. Not sure. If I end up catching it, and, uh, <laughs> it doesn't completely devastate me. Maybe. But, uh, this is three years worth of a routine that I've developed. And, uh, I like living alone. I like saving money. <laughs> I mean, it affords me to buy all this tech, right? I mean, I got a decent job. I work from home. I mean, mind you, it drives me insane some days. Because I still have to deal with people. But, man, <clears throat> if I could just do this... You know, just create videos and create content and not have to deal with people. I would be happier. <laughs> I'd be a lot happier. What's going on? I swear to God. Yeah. I brought... I brought my uh, my Pixel with me as a backup <clears throat> for music, and apparently it was going to dial out an emergency call in my back pocket. <laughs> Another reason I hate the phone. It is 
heading out Wednesday. So I finally got the the label. I'm actually today getting the label printed. Um, <clears throat> and that was one getting. So so yeah, printing the label, and then I'll ship it out Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. Again, looking at the weather. It could go out tomorrow, for all I know. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I could do this happily. And, uh, I would, yeah, <laughs> I'd be okay. I would, uh, I would appreciate to not have to have a boss or, you know, I like to be creative. Hello, crows. I hear you. Birds too, but yeah, I would love to be able to just have a thing I do, and that becomes my life. <clears throat> the gaming part of my channel is becoming further and further and further back in my head of my focus, which is to be expected. I mean, the grand experiment of almost eight years, or is it eight years now? <laughs> I'm making a gaming channel. And, uh, you know, expecting people to fall <laughs> into whatever I'm created. Um, it's been not a, not a success, not a failure. <clears throat> but I have been stagnant for two years now with, like, no growth. Zero. Like, <clears throat> I'll go up and down. But it has been about the same count on my channel for two years. And, uh, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am fine with that. But, as I said, as an experiment, you have to uh, decide, is this going to be the direction you continue on? Or is it going to be your continued focus? And I don't think I'll ever stop having gaming as part of who I am, personally. But... Who knows what the direction of this channel will be six months to a year down the road. I have never <clears throat> understood why people would invest so much time and energy into a channel and then to scrap it and start fresh with something new. You know, for the fear that they're going to <laughs> alienate their fans. But I'm like, if you're not creating that content anymore... You've already alienated them. <laughs> so change it, accept it, and move on. And, uh, you know, I have been gradually changing. You know, adding the vlog for the last couple of years. And <clears throat> side projects and stuff that I've been working on myself. I haven't uploaded them here. But there is room for this channel to become... A channel about me and moving it on to vlogs and that kind of stuff and a little bit of gaming mixed in or whatever I want and then I do believe in like if I do a cooking channel I'm not gonna throw it here I would do an experiment again with that to do that organic thing and see you know what will happen if you just focus to put it out and you obviously do some cross promotion in here I mean, I have people here. Why the fuck wouldn't I try to use that? <laughs> That'd be silly. <clears throat> but anyway, enough. I am winded again. This was a lot better today. This trail is... This is my happy place. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> and I'm getting phlegm, which is... Uh, something that happens when I get cold... And I breathe in a lot of this cold air, and I feel it going, going ugh. <clears throat> I've been sucking on lotions, so <laughs> that doesn't help. But anyway, thank you, everybody, for your uh, continued support, your views on these things. It's fun. I hope you get that I'm just having fun with this. I, I'm not taking this terribly seriously. This is just... This is what I do to uh, offset... My time that I would normally spend before being social. So this is my new f form of social. And, uh, you know, keeps me out of trouble for the most part.
But anyway, I will see you guys next week, hopefully, in our next one. If there's a nice day, by all means, I'll get out and make a video. But if not, I hope you'll understand. It'll be something else, I promise. I'll do something. But I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.